Hey guys and welcome to the very last lick for the 12 licks of Christmas. If you've been with us for all 12 licks then congratulations on your endurance because we've looked at quite a lot of stuff. Uh, and I'm just going to round things off with a nice simple uh, lick that's only got 48 notes in it. Um, but anyway, so uh, I thought we'd look at something that's a little bit more uh, uh, in the kind of insane category just to kind of cap things off. And I think the best way to do this is just to break it down into kind of phrasing or rhythmical groupings. So our first little um, idea starts off at like this. So I've got six notes here. Now what I'm actually playing here is I'm actually thinking of um, like a hybrid pentatonic scale here, like a Dorian hybrid. So I'm playing like a root note. You know, this is what I'm kind of thinking of here. I've got a root note in the E seventh fret of the A string there. And then tenth fret, and the minor third there, and then I've got a perfect fourth, seventh fret of the D string. Then it's this note here is your major 6th, which gives you that kind of Dorian vibe. Then I've got a minor 7 here, 7th fret, G string, and the 9th fret, G string the root note again. So that's my kind of little pentatonic I'm, I'm kind of using here. It's quite cool for all those kind of, uh, uh, kind of E Dorian kind of things. But anyway, my first little sequence, what I'm going to be doing is doing a pull off 9 to 7 on the D string, sorry, the G string with my 2nd to 1st finger. Then my pinky, my fourth finger, plays the 11th fret of uh, the D string there. So that's my first three of this group of six. And I'm doing it as I said, pull off, and then I'm picking that there with an upstroke. Then my next three notes go like this. So I'm kind of taking a little triplet sequence almost, uh, even though it's a group of six, but a triplet sequence to this pentatonic. So it goes like that. Then I do first fret, seventh fret G string, and then I pull off 11 to seven on that D string there. So that's my first six notes. Okay. Uh, next six notes. Uh, I'm going to be doing pull off 11 to 7 on the D string with the fourth, the first finger. My third finger plays 10th fret of the A string here. And then the next three notes, I hammer 7 to 10, 12 on that A string there. So it kind of goes like this. And this is kind of set me in for this kind of uh, next part of the, the kind of like. So those uh, opening notes go like this. Okay. Now the next bit, I've started off with this. But what I'm actually going to be doing is playing a sequence that goes... Kind of uh, two groups of six notes here, but you can think of it as all one big um, 12 note kind of group. So what I'm doing here is almost kind of tapping into this, well literally tapping, into this kind of kind of tapping four string, uh, four notes per string kind of pentatonic idea. So I'm going to play the three note per string pentatonic here and I'm tapping 14 in the A, 14 in the G and then I'd be tapping 15 on the high E string there. But this little sequence I'm going to do hammer 7 to 9 and this hammer on from nowhere there because I do this. You know, so that's a hammer on from nowhere. So if you've not tried one of those before, you know, you really think of how you would normally uh, kind of play a hammer on where you're accelerating into the string, but make sure the underside of your first finger kind of mutes the strings underneath the B and the D, the B and E string there. Plus the heel of your hand can control the bass strings, just so it's nice and clean. But hammer on there, then ninth fret, then 12th fret, then a tap with 14th fret, pull off, back to 12, then 9, then 7, and then 9, and then 12, and then 14, and then I jump up and hammer on from nowhere 7th fret high E string, and my 3rd finger plays 10th fret E string. Okay, so it's two groups of 6 notes that, but you can think of it as this kind of phrase of 12 notes. So we'll go like, uh, you know, you've got your 6 notes, uh, that there, and then that kind of thing. So what to watch out for is keeping it nice and even. Watch you don't kind of rush like that type of thing. Is it's sort of, yeah. Okay. So that's your next kind of group of notes. Next uh, kind of sequence, I'm doing um, a little phrase that goes like this. Um, and it's kind of um, I suppose it could be like you think of it like a seven note kind of phrase here, seven notes to the beat, but you can again just think of what I'm actually playing as a phrase. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm tapping 15th fret in the E string, pull off to 12, to 10, to 7, then I'm going to slide 
up to 10, then hammer on to 12, and then hammer on to 15. So I'm kind of playing an E pentatonic minor along the top string here, so that goes like this. That kind of phrase, and that's how you would hear it, you know. Remember one of the early lessons I talked about a group of five? You can think of the word hippopotamus. If you're playing a group of seven, you can think of crazy hippopotamus or funky hippopotamus, whatever you want. So this goes like this. Okay. Next little sequence, so I'm in this position here. I'm now going to tap at the 17th fret, tap there, pull off to the 15th, to the 12th, to the 10, then a slide up, to the 12, then hammer on, 15, and then 17. And that's another group of seven as well, so that goes. Like that little phrase there. So those two go like this. Okay. Now, next little phrase, um, I'm kind of playing four notes per string here right after one another. So what I'm going to do is tap at the 19th fret, pull off to 17, 15, 12, and then I tap at the 20th fret on the B string and do the same thing, 17, 15, 12. And you can think of that as a group of eight notes, like that. Okay, and then the very, very last part of this lick, I do hammer on to 15th fret and bend, and then tap at the 22nd fret and give it a bit of vibrato with the left hand so you get vibrato with that tap note there. So that kind of goes like this. Okay, so um, think of the, the kind of those logical units. Um, you've got this. That's your kind of first phrase, then you have this bit. That bit there, and then you have this kind of a... That bit there, and then you kind of group of eight notes. Then you hammer on, bend. And then a big tap at the 22nd fret there. Okay, so there's a lot of notes there. Um, loads of different techniques, string skipping and tapping, you name it. So it's not exactly a... a easy like if there's such a thing but there's loads of stuff in there just to kind of grab and, and use in your own playing taking pentatonics and stripping uh, skipping strings and tapping really popular these days that sort of technique um playing odd groupings groups of seven and of course doing bends and then taps above and then doing something with the bend so you can do things like that kind of vi-esque where you bend up tap and then release the bend to get a cool kind of wide interval kind of sound so that's it, that's the last lick from the 12 licks of Christmas. Um, it's been fun uh, kind of doing it, but as usual, um, you know, check out uh, the Twitter feed and check out Massive the Guitar on Facebook. If you've liked the licks, then please share them about, uh, pop them up on Facebook, pop them up on your own Twitter, that thing, just kind of share them about just to get more people um, kind of into the kind of Massive the Guitar page and uh, Twitter feed and things. So until the next lesson, uh, have fun with that. And I'll see you, hopefully, pretty soon.